the new cars in the Crew Motor Fest this next month. First, though, I'm gonna give you a bonus. Now, some of you might already know about it, but if you did not play the main stage this week, I don't know, maybe you've been busy, maybe you've been, you've been, you've been doing something. I don't know what I've been doing, but I, for just some reason, haven't done much of any of this. Well, a car that you can buy on its own, but you could get for free one of my favorite hyper cars in this play progress right here where you select it it puts you in whatever car fits the restriction or you need to buy a car that fits the restriction which is the restriction not just porsche at that point you don't need to buy a car you can just play the porsche playlist get yourself the 911 carrera 4s timeless and you play events in the main stage variation giving you an xp boost of 25 percent depending on your progress in the other main stage categories or well to be fair you can just play events regularly as well you don't even have to do it in the main stage configuration but that just gets you a bit more XP. You do these events, level up your revisit progress. You can get the Jaguar. I don't even remember what it's called. The big spoiler edition. This car from the Crew 2's Motor Pass. I believe the later into the game US Speed Tour. Or maybe Flashback Motor Pass. One of my absolute favorite hypercars is in game right now. And if you didn't do it... You can get it for free. You can buy this car anyway, but look at how cool it is. It makes a very not cool car, the Jaguar Concept, into actually being pretty damn cool. This livery is stock as well. The sun has been consumed by shadow. <laughs> I didn't even know you could actually watch the sun like, progress so, so naturally, so like... Realistically, huh? But this is a car out this week. What am I talking about with the rest of this video? Well, simply, it's the fact that at the end of this week, we turn over to the final week of the main stage. And right now, I'm about to tell you every single car coming out in the next main stage, which is also the final main stage before the brand new island update. But what are we getting in the meantime? Because there's actually a few new ones in there. Not a lot as many other months. Because we're missing the year one pass is done. But not only is the year one pass done, there's also fewer cars for other reasons. This is a really interesting month because yes, it's the first month into the new season. But it's a month with no year one pass cars. No Crew 2 returning cars. And the last ever. And car number one, a... Crew 2 Motor Pass returning car, the GTR Haru Edition. One of my favorite edition cars, one of my favorite Motor Pass cars, with one of the best body kits imitating a Liberty Walk body kit, the Haru Edition is going to be buyable day one of the update. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if you were confused because you may be thinking, you may have tried to buy it already and gone, Sid, it just says zero days left. That was a bit of a mix up. Instead, this car is, and was always supposed to, come out this Wednesday. October 2nd, you'll be able to buy the GTR Haru. <laughs> Such a sick car. Ooh, listen to it. <laughs> I don't even know if I have an engine kit on this thing. It's just a perfect looking show car, is it not? Like, oh, oh, oh. And this is the last ever motor pass returning car. The battle pass system back in the Crew 2, which had cars exclusively time locked and 75% of them were also paid locked. Every single one of those cars is now purchasable in the Crew Motor Fest. And that's on day one, but what else are we getting day one? Well, actually a lot of things, because the other one is the Mazda RX-7 Turbo. And I only bring up this image to show you there's the lineup of the summit. We got Liberty Walk Rain, we got Japanese Custom Volume 2, so a second one. We got Japanese Toge, we got Spooky Summon or other, and we got Nissan Selection. And there's actually something interesting about this car coming back. The Mazda RX-3 Raiduo Edition. Not only is it, it's quite interesting engine sound, very tinny. But this thing has this really cool kit on it. Was actually a bronze reward in the Crew 2. It's a summit car return, like almost every main stage has been. But this is a 
bronze summit car return. So essentially, anyone who had the summit, à bientôt, anyone pilote. who, what? Comment puis-je être utile? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> It's been, it's been, it's infecting! Always at your disposal. <laughs> British feels wrong now. British. English. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about this car, man, damn it. So, the Mazda Raijuo edition was a bronze summit reward, meaning everyone who had the summit got this car. But now, every single one of you can get this car in the main stage. Such a sick body kit, man. So sick. And speaking of main stage, join me Wednesday on live stream as I speed run the main stage. I'm going to get the main stage done as quick as I can. The quickest main stage completion you will ever see. That'll be live streamed Wednesday. Turn on notifications as you subscribe. To catch it and still at day one from the car list of a car that people have been waiting for for so damn long the liberty walk mclaren 720s is also coming out day one of this next update finally it's gonna be in hypercar we're gonna check it out obviously that video will be out thursday but finally and also that is the final Brand new shop car in the crew motorfest this update before the well before the big date before the big island is the Liberty Walk McLaren 720s and Finally for the first week anyone who this week played the summit and got platinum I'll explain how the summit works later on But if you got platinum this week, you will receive your Porsche Taycan turbo Thunder edition will go directly into your account once you collect it from the summit menu. And then have fun driving your rear windowless I can. <gasps> oh my god, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm one of the people that still needs to do the summit. <laughs> okay, let me finish this, let me finish filming this video so I can do that. Let's move from week one to week two. The next car is part of the main stage. Legacy, a feature you already know, brings back the whole main stage via featuring two events from each summit, including an event where you get to test the summit car from that update and receive whatever the main stage vehicle for that update was. The next one we're getting is the final one from last update, which was the That Dude in Blue and Shmi update. So naturally, the guy who's all about hypercars with the guy whose gimmick is blue, uh, they give the Veyron Deep Blue Edition. This hypercar, you'll be able to get the second week of the update. I'm hesitant to say for free because sometimes you do have to buy cars for the actual events in that main stage legacy but sometimes they're all loaned vehicle i guess we'll find out when we find out but if you wanted a massively wide-bodied blue color schemed gimmicked bugatti veyron you can get that if you missed it from the main stage it's week two of this update i mean that's about it for things going on week two in fact that's about it for things going on week three and week four, it's gonna be a dire update. We don't have any other shop cars coming out. We get the main stage legacy already. We gotta go two weeks with nothing? I didn't even realize that. Two weeks with nothing. I mean, sure, it's gonna be spooky themed, I guess. Even though the actual spooky day is in the Nissan selection. There's nothing scarier than a Nissan. Yeah, those are gonna be a rough two weeks. <sighs> the returning motorpass cars, especially the Crew 2 import cars, I really hope they have a plan to replace those in the future, because it's getting dire. Two weeks and nothing. Two, two weeks and nothing. But then finally, in the summit, we get a summit car. The feature where you play nine events, some restricted, some with gimmicks, and then at the end, to get the fastest times you can, thus the highest points you can, which at the end of the week will rank you, giving you a platinum reward car. And the platinum reward car for the next month, during the final week before the island update, 
is the KRC Japan Nissan S14. This thing will be in street tier one and will be a custom body kitted KRC Japan S14. Based on the real KRC Japan S14. Here it is. This is the exact one that they are creating in the crew for this summit. And of course, like I mentioned before, all summit cars will eventually become buyable with the prestige ticket feature in the next update. And that's all the cars. That's all there is for the final cars before the island update. We're in the last moments now. It's the end times. That up there, that's the end game. It's the final countdown. It's a different pop culture reference meaning the end of something. And hopefully it's the start of updates with more substance in the update than a flashy front for the beginning of the update. <clears throat> thank you to popular members, especially thanks to famous members, and an insane thank you to star members. We don't have any become star member. And an insane insane top the top thank you to icon members. HK. I will see you boys in the next one. That's about it from me in a bit.